Hello everyone, how are you doing? Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you're all doing great. So I know we are all used to the UK media and the press saying so much lies about Harry and Meghan. In fact, attacking them almost on a daily and just making up stories about them. And there are very few individuals in the UK media who usually say the truth. Individuals who report um, the news instead of making up news. And those include um, people like James O'Brien, people like Omid Scobie, also Tessa Dandop at times. And now I have found someone that I didn't even know that has actually been reporting the truth about Harry and Meghan for quite some time. And this person is called James Well. Well, I'll go into detail of what he has been saying in the recent years about Harry and Meghan. But first, um, the thing that led so many people to now recognizing him is this article he wrote about Harry and Meghan. And he was actually blasting the UK media for the undeserved bullying of Harry and Meghan in the UK. And I was actually surprised to see a Daily Express journalist or columnist writing something positive about Harry and Meghan until I did my research on this person and found out that he has been continually supporting Harry and Meghan for the longest time, even though it's not so frequently, but he has been supporting them and just calling out the lies of the UK media and that of the people who've been believing the things that the UK media have been telling them. So I really have so much respect for people such as James Well who say the truth when the truth needs to be said. So after the documentary Tablets on Trial was released where Prince Harry was featured in, um, there were a lot of things that the UK media said about this interview. Definitely not positive things. They were criticizing Prince Harry for his own words, yet we all know what Harry said is the truth. So Harry said in the interview that, and whether it's a knife or acid, these are things that are genuine concerns for me. It's one of the reasons why I won't bring my wife back to this country. Yeah, and uh, the UK media are just, as usual, denying the fact that the UK is not safe for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and their children. But we all know that it is not a safe country at all for them. And so, responding to the interview, Daily Express commentator James Well showed compassion for Prince Harry and he said, I have to say, and many of my fellow columnists and readers may disagree with me, that he has my sympathies. The violence he talks about is a terrifying prospect and the vitriolic hatred against them continues. Indeed. I don't understand why people continue to attack Harry and Meghan when they know very well that this violence that Harry talks about is actually so real. Do you remember when Meghan was still a working member of that family and she got white powder sent to their office? And how many people have been prosecuted for threatening the lives of Harry, Meghan and their children? There are many, right? And that is in the UK. So for people to continue hating them and just tarnishing their names, I don't think that is right. And what James Wells said is so true. And he also said that it's my belief that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been subjected to the most awful bullying in this country, much of it undeserved. And endlessly blasting Harry is getting us nowhere. Thank you so much, James Well, for this because it's uh, this blasting of Harry and Meghan continually isn't getting the UK press anywhere. It just continues to feed hate into the public and the results of that is what we witnessed in the UK the other day. He also continued to say, there is too much disunity in this world right now as it is, including the war in Ukraine and the bloodshed in Gaza. True, there's so much disunity right now in the world that the only thing that uh, people need to do is spread love and not hate. 
And Mr. Well even continued to say that if there is one thing that could offer hope, it would be Harry and his brother Prince William making amends. Well, I believe that is what Harry also wants, but I don't know if Prince William wants the same. He has shown over and over again that he doesn't want any kind of reconciliation with Prince Harry whatsoever. So, whereas we may want the same for Harry, I don't think the other part of that family, that is his father and his brother, want the same. And also, James Well has been supporting Harry and Meghan for some time. And even in 2022, after Megan's Arch, uh, Archetypes podcast on Spotify, James Wall wrote an article uh, saying, Give poor Harry and Megan a break and let them live their lives, says James Well, adding, It never fails to amaze me how some people insist on going on and on about Megan Markle. She has just launched her first podcast, Lucky Ham. Also, in 2022, James Well appeared to fall out with a caller who criticized Well for defending Meghan. Of course, these are some of the people who believe the vile that the UK media press write about Meghan and Harry on, on, on a daily. And then uh, in 2023, James Well was replying to Emily Ferguson who had written a tweet about Meghan. So she was basically saying that Meghan Markle's time in the royal family is over and there's no way back for her now because Meghan skipped the king's coronation. And then James Well replied saying, what a load of bollocks you talk. Wish you so-called journalists will leave Meghan and Harry alone. If you think they're only after publicity, the easiest way to do that is not keep on about them. But you can't, can you? Because you're obviously not very good. That is quite a reply, right? And it's very true because these people um, continually say how they hate Harry and Meghan or rather just write negative things about them. But in reality, it seems to me like they're quite obsessed over the Sussexes. They can't keep them out of their mouths. And you know why? Because the Sussexes pay their bills. And it's very unfortunate that they have to say nasty things about the Sussexes. Anyway, karma is coming for all of them. And I really applaud people like James Well, who continually speak the truth about Harry and Meghan in this media that is so infested with saying negative things about this couple, even though they have done nothing wrong to anyone. So that is what I wanted to share with you for today. I hope um, you enjoyed this podcast. You can kindly leave your comments down below on what you think about this. And I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful and amazing, amazing time. Bye.